Yo, 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 this is Dorky Diggity Dave, and today we are taking a look at what Scarlet Witch was and what she is, and it's just a quick look, uh, first impressions, let's check out what's going on here, and uh, just off the bat, it looks like the block proficiency has really taken a hit, and parry is really allowing for a lot more damage to come through on blocks, and so that's going to create a problem. Uh, moving forward so as you can see on the left we have our beloved before witch and on the right we have a witch that just got pounded by uh, <laughs> Winter Soldier's L2 uh, Mostly because I didn't see that coming. I had no idea what that looked like. I just jumped right in here for the comparison so Just off of what I can figure this looks like it's going to be a matter of baiting out his L1 and trying to stay away from the L2 as uh, I haven't figured out how to evade that fully just as yet. But uh, when I do, you better believe there will be a video about that. Also something of notice is that we're not getting those big numbers. Uh, like I got about a max of maybe 8,000 or so damage on the L2. Uh, we're not seeing big numbers like 22,000, etc. that you saw before. Um, you know, as you saw right there, 32,000 on that particular attack on the left on before. Um, and I really struggled to get something like that with the new witch. Uh, it's usually somewhere between five to 8,000, have not seen much more than that. And this is a rank five witch uh, that just got comboed into oblivion on the right. So I'm gonna try it again uh, and see what happens there uh, while this other witch keeps fighting. And as you can see, those those parries are taking a lot of hits, so it looks like Realm of Legends has taken on a whole new uh, challenge here in that you can't even parry your way through, you're going to take a lot of damage. Also notice here, the stuns don't last anywhere near as long, so enough for you to get off another combo, so that's still pretty good, uh, but nowhere near what it used to be. Uh, and as you can see, the comparison in terms of damage on before and after is is really a lot. It's not, we're not talking about, you know, a 20% debuff here. We're talking about a good 60, 70% damage reduction over here. So I'm not saying that she's down and out completely, but she is very, very, very different. Uh, so I'm going to take a look to see if there is a particular strategy that we can use to uh, make her better, but uh, right now she is nowhere near as good as she used to be in my opinion uh, So she is starting to feel like rank down material, but there's still a couple tests I'd like to run and then I will reassess but uh, enjoy the rest of the video One more thing here. Uh, I think what's coming into play here is the fact that the challenger rating is uh, is so low on my end and higher on his end and I think that's causing a lot of that damage that's coming in on those parries because as you can see now that I'm down to just the last bit of health I can really only take maybe two or three parries and that's about it Well, that's looking like it's about it. I cannot take another hit or a parry because, well, there it goes. So if you liked the video, go ahead and click subscribe, click like, leave a comment, share it with your friends and your mama. And remember, stay dorky and I'll catch y'all on the flip.